Hey, Nick. Um, hey, man. Uh, so I had everything open, and I just wanted to show you. Uh, it's just so when it gets cleaned up, Jesus, man. I wish I had taken a photo so you could see the underneath. Like, the wood here, there's still some dirt, you know, that I need to, like, rub out that shows sort of that, like, that dry look. But, man, like, underneath, it's just, like, very clean. There was, of course, 40 years of everybody's hair and fucking everything. Um... But anyway, so everything's gotten back together really well. The biggest thing that I found uh, is just the, and I'm forgetting the term now, it's not the blow off or whatever, but what it is, the biggest problem with this piano is the, the distance here where it's supposed to stop. As you can see, like these felt are, let me just get a correct focus there. So I've just shimmed it a little bit to show you. So they're supposed to be an eighth of an inch. And for hard players, they say do a quarter of an inch and then you like uh, turn up your amplification. So what I'm gonna do, oh, this is a better angle. So let me focus. So it's like right on the edge of my camera's focusability. I really should get the GoPro for this. So you see this hammer coming up? It's so fuzzy, it looks like an old man's balls. So before this was coming up and totally surrounding the reed. And so I don't have the, the capstan wrench, but for this end one, you can turn it with, um, with a pair of flat pliers uh, without marring it up. So you can see like I already took, so here I can show you the action here. So this is what I was saying, it's just this, these three pieces repeated 64 times. And so everything is set at the factory. If you go through the manual, there's a, a, a bunch of things that are like, you set the key height to two inches and then you really can't set anything other than this capstan um, bolt right there. So what that does is the hammer pushes up on that bolt and so obviously that's gonna change the range. All of the stuff <coughs> that's inside the action there, where are we? That stuff is all set. That's uh, kind of hard for me to see at this angle here. But anyway, there's, there's no adjustment in there other than, uh, uh, hang on, there's one other guy you do for like the let off. But anyway, the let off on all these is going fine and the stop motion is all. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you. So on the other side, in the manual, there's actually a reference to, hey, what's going on here? To this washer on this side. Um, but what I found is actually mine, uh, for, for what I'm seeing right now, unless I jack all of these way up, um, and it might also be that these tips are just so fuzzy that they look higher, you know what I mean? It's an eighth inch to a quarter inch. And so like if I were to get them out, you can see like the used tips definitely seem fuzzier. And so I could almost account for an eighth inch of difference like, let's say that came totally packed, you know, like the difference that I'm seeing there, or maybe it's a 16th. So then it's not really off where it was supposed to be. It's just that the felt is super fuzzy. I'm going to go ahead and not replace any of my tips right now because I want to place the order uh, today and I cannot figure out what glue you're supposed to use. Uh, this thermal glue, Vintage Vibe doesn't seem to have it listed. And I, I'm just gonna leave it for now. But I did find about eight eight hammer tips that I need to replace. One of them is actually very misaligned. I don't think I can find it for you, but it's hitting like way on this side. So I can actually just you know heat up that hammer tip and flip it over. Um, I did find one or two like that. But otherwise, man, I gotta say, like just sitting in this in the manual, it completely demystifies itself. Uh, the same thing I had with the Rhodes, especially with the 88 keys. I was just like, what the fuck did I get myself into? But man, like once, once I've taken it all apart, I mean, even just this morning in a scramble, um, I forgot that I had put, there's one main screw that connects in the bottom here and I hadn't put it back yet. And it's funny that they say that it's like you're ne you need it and it really does bring the whole thing down like 1 64th of an inch that then made, that's what happened. All of this seemed like it was a little high. And once I tighten that down, it changes where the, all the action is sitting on the hammers. And then these guys were all at, you know, two inches less or minus like a couple tiny little papers I got to add in there. Anyway, man, I can't wait to put it back together, but I really want to get all of the, uh, all of the let offs correct, you know, so that they're all, at least in the high sections, I want to get these closer to a quarter inch. Right now, these are more like the eighth inch. Um, and if you come down here in the base section, you'll see that all of these, and this might do to the, uh, the shim washer that's in there by default. Um, oh, maybe I gotta come down to the base one so you can see here too. I think I want to get one of those little scope cameras too. Cause I realize even the vintage vibe stuff, like, I love them, but they made it like 10 years ago and it's all not high quality, not HD. So see how that's coming up more like absolutely a quarter of an inch. 
but the bass section sounded really nice. Um, you know, when I had it uh, all back together originally. So I think I'm just going to try to set the, the upper ones, you know, closer to a quarter and eighth once I get the cap stand tool. And then we'll see how it sounds without the, uh, you know, the hammer tips to see how they are. I wish I could show you one. Let me see if there's one nasty one. The actual super high treble, you can tell he wasn't playing as much, but it's right here at the start of the second octave. Um, I should have done... Nah, I'm not going to be able to show you one. Anyway, man. It's so clean! <laughs>